Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel Video Tutorials. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the Control Chart Selection Tool in Sigma Excel. The Control Chart Selection Tool makes it easy for you to select the correct statistical process control chart depending on data type and subgroup or sample type and size. To open the Control Chart Selection Tool, click Sigma Excel, Control Charts, Control Chart Selection Tool. The Data Types and Definition tab contains information about the possible data types. Continuous variable is data that is measured on a continuous scale where a midpoint or other subdivision has meaning. For example, when measuring cycle time, 2.5 days has meaning. Other examples include distance, weight, thickness, length, and cost. Customer satisfaction on a 1 to 5 scale can be considered as continuous in that a satisfaction score of 3.5 has meaning. Continuous data is always in numeric format. Discrete attribute data is categorical in nature. If we had defect types 1, 2, and 3, defect type 1.5 has no meaning. Other examples of discrete data would be customer complaints and reason for product return. Discrete data can be text or integer numeric format. Defective is an entire unit that is non-conforming to customer requirements. A unit may be defective because of one or more defects. For example, an application form is good only if all critical entry fields are correct. Any error in a critical field is a defect, resulting in a defective form. A single form can have more than one defect. A defect is any specific non-conformity to customer requirements. There can be more than one defect per unit or area of opportunity, such as the entry errors described above. Data for a subgroup are usually collected within a short period of time to ensure homogeneous conditions within the subgroup, or common cause variation, in order to detect differences between subgroups, or special cause variation. Subgroup sample size is the number of observations within your sample, not the number of samples. Subgroup sizes of 3 to 5 are common for continuous measures in parts manufacturing, while individual measurements are common in chemical processes, temperature, pH, and transactional areas, financial. Subgroup size for discrete data should be a minimum of 50. Subgroup sample size is constant. The number of observations within your sample remains fixed over time. Subgroup sample size varies. The number of observations within your sample varies over time. Subgroup sample size is very large and assumptions not met. This applies to discrete data when the subgroup sizes are approximately 5,000 or higher, and the control limits do not look right being very tight with many data points appearing to be out of control. This problem is also referred to as overdispersion. This occurs when the assumption of a binomial distribution for defectives or Poisson distribution for defects is not valid. Click the Select Control Chart tab. We'd like to create a control chart of the overall satisfaction data. Since this can be considered as continuous data, the data type is continuous variable data. The subgroup sample size is 1. That is, there is no subgrouping, so select Individuals Subgroup Sample Size equals 1. At this point, we can choose Individuals or Individuals and Moving Range. We will keep the simpler Individuals selection as shown. Click OK. Click Use Entire Data Table and click Next. This starts up the Individuals Chart dialog. Select Overall Satisfaction and click Numeric Data Variable Y. Click OK to generate the individual's chart. For the next example, I'll be using the Catapult Data XBAR Control Charts Sample Dataset. The dataset can be opened by clicking Help, Sample Data, and then find the file Catapult Data XBAR Control Charts.xlsx. Click Sigma Excel, Control Charts, Control Chart Selection Tool. Since Catapult Shot Distance Measurement is continuous, we keep the default selection continuous variable data. The catapult data are in subgroups, so select subgroups for subgroup sample size greater than 1. With the subgroup sample size of 3, the subgroup sample size is small, so we will use the XBAR and range chart as shown. Clicking OK will start up the XBAR and range dialog. Select Use Entire Data Table and click Next. Ensure subgroups across rows is selected. Select shots 1 through 3 and click Numeric Data Variables Y. Select Operator and click Optional X-Axis Labels. 
Clicking OK will generate the X-bar and range control charts. For the next example, I'll be using discrete defectives data with varying subgroup sizes. Open the file New York Daily Cycle Time Discrete.xlsx. This is data from the Sigma Savings and Loans Company, New York location. Each day the cycle time in days for completed loans and leases was recorded. N indicates the number of loans counted. A fail was recorded if the cycle time exceeded the critical customer requirement of eight days. Click Sigma Excel, Control Charts, Control Chart Selection Tool. Since this data is discrete, select Discrete Attribute Data. We're looking at defectives data since each loan cycle time is a pass or fail. So select defectives, unit is good, bad, pass, fail. The subgroup sample size varies day to day, so select subgroup sample size varies. We can see now that the recommended chart is the p-chart for proportion defective. Clicking OK will start up the p-chart dialog. Select fail and click numeric data variable y. Select N and click Subgroup Column or Size. Click OK. With the help of the Control Chart Selection tool, the P-Chart has been generated. In summary, the Control Chart Selection tool can make it very easy for you to select the correct statistical process control chart. This concludes the Sigma Excel tutorial video for the Control Chart Selection tool. For more videos, visit www.sigmaxl.com or join us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.